Today we are going to build a sticky bottom navigation bar that stays with you as you go from screen to screen and animates its selected state. Okay, cool stuff. Let's get to it. All right, so first thing you need your icons for your bottom navigation bar. I've got my home, my grid, my calendar, and my menu. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all those and I'm going to hit Shift A. And that is going to put it in an auto layout. Um, I'm going to set the auto layout to the center. Uh, space between items 20. That might change. Uh, and then we're going to fill it. So I'm going to put it as black. All right. Now that doesn't look very good. So we are going to ramp up our corner radius to something like 30. And then I am going to increase my padding to maybe 20 and the top padding to maybe 10. All right, now we're at 196 width. That's not very good either because we know our mobile frame is going to be about 390. So I think maybe if we do 20 on each side or maybe even 30 on each side and pull it in. So that would give us a what, 330. So if we just set this to fixed, hit 330, and then do space between, and I'm going to give it a little more height. I'm going to give it 20, and I'm going to give it 30 on the insides, and then we'll ramp up. There we go. So now we've got kind of a bottom navigation bar. Uh, and while we're in here, I'm going to add a drop shadow. I'm just going to change that to zero. That to maybe something like 12. Good enough. Okay, so we will call this bottom nav bar. All right. Now what we need to do is we're going to make it a component. And then we're going to make a state for each uh, selected item in here uh, and the reason we're going to do it in the component is so that when we move between screens we can animate that selected state so before we turn this into a component I do want to make sure that my home is the selected by default so I'm going to use uh, I'm just going to use a line I'm going to hit L I'm just going to make a line so we'll give it maybe 40 yeah, four is good. We'll round it out. I'm going to pick yellow. So this is going to be our selected line. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to hit absolute position. And then we can drag that down and set it right underneath our icon. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I think I might actually do a width of 30. Four. Center that with our icon. And now we have a selected state for our navigation. So now we're ready to take this, turn it into a component. And then we're going to add a new instance. And we'll call this, um, we'll just call this grid because that's what the icon for this one's called. And we're just going to take our bar here. And I'm just going to fire it over line it up with our icon here. So now that's our selected state for our icon there. And what we might actually do is I'm going to play with this and see if maybe I want to make that. Yeah, let's do that. So then this one, break that color. Okay, we'll keep going. So we'll add a new variant. We'll call this one Cal. We're going to move our line over to line up with our calendar. We're going to make that back to white and that to yellow. Uh, in a later tutorial, we'll do something cool with the menu. We're not going to touch the menu right now. So now we have three selected states on our bottom nav bar. Pretty easy stuff. That's all you really have to do for your nav component at the moment. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our 
screen. And we are going to drag in our navbar component. So see how it just sits at the bottom. So this screen here is all done in an auto layout, which is perfect. That's how screens should be so that you don't have to keep resizing them. Um, we are going to take this, I'm going to select it, we're going to hit absolute position, I'm going to hit bottom, and I'm going to go shift arrow up twice to give it some lift. And then I'm going to hit fixed position when scrolling. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy that, come over to my next screen, I'm going to paste that. I'm going to go bottom, one, two, and now we're going to select our variant state to grid because this is going to be our grid screen. Okay, cool. Easy peasy. So now we select the one on our home screen. We select our grid icon, drag your prototyping arrow over. On tap, navigate to this animation. I'm going to push it in. And now the trick here is you're going to make sure that this smart animate matching layers is selected. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep your nav bar in the same spot and animate it nicely using Figma smart animate. And then we're going to do the same here. We're going to click on our home screen and drag the arrow over there. I think we'll push that back in. Smart animate matching layers. All right, now we are ready to test it and see if it works. Just make sure our prototype settings are set to a phone. All right, so there it is sitting at the bottom. We can scroll, it's staying on the screen as it should. And now if I click this grid icon, our new screen comes in and we actually animate, you can see the line slide over, we animate between states. So now you can switch screens within your app seamlessly with a sticky bottom navigation bar. All right, easy stuff, quick one today. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, check out the other videos, check out my other channels, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.